day. I, uh, I got some family that came into town this week and my older brother says, hey, I want to do some Kahlua pork. You got any pigs in the freezer? And I said, I don't have any pigs in the freezer, but I got a short gap in time. I might be able to go up and get one shot. And Something I've been wanting to do for years and years and years is a gutting video. I'm actually going to do that on this pig here. Uh, a little different than normal. Everybody does their own gutting videos. And it's kind of fast paced, but I want to show you the mechanics of what happens inside a pig. I want to show you the difference between the, the cardiovascular and the digestive. I want to actually take one half of that pig and take it off with the guts so you can see what your target areas are. Um, just a really thorough view of the guts. Uh, and if this pig's not shot in the guts, which only went about 40 yards, so I don't think it is. Um, I'll do that video today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a couple of tidbits on trophy shots. I know we talk about it all the time on all the videos, but take some time and make sure you get your animal cleaned up. Uh, we're removing the blood because nobody really wants to see all the blood. That's not our angle. Our angle here is to represent this animal uh, for his life that he gave to us for sport, for food, for mental and physical growth, everything that it provides. Plus, there is a big part of game management involved in this. Um, if you have blood coming out the nose and mouth, sometimes the best way is to take the tissue paper, uh, wipes, whatever you have in your pack, and wad it up and stuff it down the nostrils and the throat. It'll keep that blood from coming out. Just be quite a bit more respectful trophy shot. But uh, this is it. This is my sow that I am thrilled to pieces to have. My entire family and extended family will eat on it for the next couple of months. I feel honored and blessed that I was able to get out and do this. Let's try the uh, let's try the one side gutting thing. See what happens. So. Okay y'all, this worked out better than I ever could have imagined. So, to sh just to give you a real good look of what you're looking at on a pig, okay? There's the shoulder, hind quarter, rib cage area. The mechanics of this pig, how this works. Food goes in the front, goes through, goes out through the digestive, and then out through the back. So when you're gutting, there's two points of contact to cut. You gotta cut where the food comes in and you gotta cut where the food comes out. There's no wrong way to do this other than try not to cut the guts. So here's what you're looking at. Your kill shot sits right in just behind the shoulder and I'm gonna give you an idea of what that is right now. So if we were to fold this back, those lungs sit right there. See how high that lung sits up on top of the spine? Now this is in a completely relaxed position, okay? I'm gonna let some of this out of here. That heart sits right in between those lungs. So there's your heart right there, right in the very bottom of his chest. You probably heard it before, you can't shoot a pig too low. Same thing with a bison, um, your deer and antelope, you can hit them low. I would never say try and hit them right in the bottom of the heart. It's this target area, about the size of your hand. So if you're at the range and you're getting all caught up because your groups are only a quarter or 50 cents, your hand right here, this is what's gonna kill this animal. So when you start gunning an animal, and I'm gonna show you one full speed so you'll understand what the, how it works, but if you separate this section, the section that comes through his pelvis, you can do this without ever getting into this is the first cut. If you can separate this section right here, take your knife so that's free and clear. Feel how that's pulling free and clear? Then when you go to gut it, you'll be able to pull that out 
without ever getting any sort of urine or waste or anything in your meat. So here's another angle, the angle you would take traditionally when you're gutting a pig. Same exact process, different angle. So just to reiterate, cardiovascular, digestive. Bullet lands here, not gonna kill the pig. Bullet lands here, you're gonna be taking trophy shots. So you would get up in this windpipe area right here, right? You would cut that. So now I have his heart, his lungs, and I can literally pull that section out. Okay, another look from the traditional angle. So you would split them up the middle, and then you would take and cut where that windpipe comes through the throat and the diaphragm, and get a hold of it good, and just pull the gut sac out. Now you've already separated the anus from the pelvis canal, so you'll be able to just do pull it right up and out. It's a perfect example right there. There you go. That pig's been gutted completely. It is all free of dirt and debris and nasty. And so just like that, you've got a hollow pig. Okay, I know it seemed like I had a whole bunch going on right there. So I'm going to give you one full speed look. A good friend of mine's going to gut this pig. I should call him the gut master. Um, I'm going to give you a real good idea of how it goes down. And then you just got the bird's eye view of the mechanics from the interior. Good. little swollen in there yeah, from the roll. A little tight, yeah. Is that your stomach or hers? Right. You got lung, all right. Finished. Good job. Beauty. Nice. Super clean. A little blood in there, that's it. That's fantastic. Very nice. You want a shot of this side where you can see actually that it's reamed out? Nice big open channel. I hope this helps for those of you who are looking for direction on how to gut a pig. If you need anything in the future, please shoot us a comment. We'll see if we can't put it together in a video.